YouTube channel, my name's Megan, just in case you don't know me already, and I'm back with another really exciting video. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Friends and Revolution collection, and I'm going to be trying out this particular palette today, and this is called the Open the Door palette. I have already done a review on the Here's Her Lobster palette, this one up here so i'll have that linked down below for you to check that out right after this video i'm also going to be giving this face palette another go and this is what it looks like right here this is the grab a coffee face palette so i'm going to put that on my face as well and yeah i'm excited and if you are new to my channel welcome i'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video so i'm going to start off with the grab a coffee palette and in my previous video I used these three shades here, there's this one's contour, this one's a bronze and this one's a highlight. So in today's video I'm going to use a few of the shades that I didn't use in my previous video. However I don't think these two will actually work for me so I think I'm still going to take this shade to contour and then probably use a combination of these two to bronze and then this one to highlight again. The first shade that I'm going to go into is this shade Chai. And I'm going to use an angle brush for that and just contour my face. And for bronzer, I'm going to take a mixture of the shade Macchiato and the shade Cappuccino to bronze up the face. And I'm going to use a bit more of a fluffier brush to do that. And now I'm going to take the shade Black Coffee to highlight my face. And to do that, I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Glow Up brush. And then on the other side, I'm actually going to take the JS9 to do the highlighter because I want to give it another go. If you haven't watched my makeup I forgot about, I actually used this brush to highlight. I actually quite liked it. And now that my base is on, I'll round up really really quickly about the palette. Um, I think I much prefer these three shades. This shade mixed with this shade with this shade as a contour I think was just a little bit too much on my skin tone but maybe separately it's going to look really really nice on my skin tone. Like I said in my previous video I'm not sure about this shade right here, this espresso highlighter shade because this is a light to medium palette so I'm not really sure if someone with light to medium skin tone will be able to get away with that as a highlighter. But overall I'm really really happy with this palette and I will definitely be using it again. It's just huge, it's just so big, it's going to be really really big to store. So I'd obviously bear that in mind if you're thinking about getting the palette. But the shades are really really nice. I did swatch all of that palette in my previous video so that's why I'm not going to do it in this video. We're just going to move on to the open the door eyeshadow palette. And this is what the palette looks like. It's this really bright purple packaging with the little peephole door frame thing featured in Friends. And it says Friends X Revolution. Opening it up. This palette, once again, is pretty big. It is a pretty big palette. I don't know if you can tell, but the Lobster palette is actually the same size as the... Stacey Marie Love to Heat It palette which I think is quite big for a 21 shade eyeshadow palette and this palette's like pretty big too. It has this foam thing, foam packaging again with two pretty, well this one's really stiff on mine, this top one, well, this bottom one, isn't that, isn't that stiff? I don't know why, why that is. This one also has the foam on the side and then this one's got the foam on the side and then it opens up like a door which I think that's the whole point of the hinges too um, and then this is what your palette looks like it's beautiful with pinks, neutrals, gold shimmers, pink shimmers, beautiful silver shimmer yeah I'm really really excited to create something with this. The colour story I think is just really really nice. 
And I love the matte to shimmer ratio as well. It's really, really good. Then this also folds over so you can kind of dip in this side and then do your makeup that side, which makes it really, really good. To prime my eyes today, I'm gonna use the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base in the shade Light. Really been enjoying using this base a lot. It is slightly, slightly thinner than the P. Louise base, but it's still a very, very good base. And I'm gonna buff that in with the Real Techniques Medium Shadow Brush. So I am just gonna swatch the palette just before I put it on my eyes and I'm just gonna do it row by row. First shade in the palette's called Whisker Sun and it's just a matte white. Then we've got the shade Java and we've got the shade The One Were and that's the three shades on the top row swatch. Then we've got the shade Scientist Guy. We've got the shade of the Dentist and the shade Maple Candy. We've got the shade Manhattan. We've got the shade I Take The Rachel and that's the first and the second row all swatch pinky kind of tones those first few shades. This shade Scientist Guy I'm really really drawn to. I love that kind of mauve kind of purple shade. I love it. So now I'm going to swatch the very middle row and first we've got this shade Big White Dog and wow look at that shade. That shade is Beautiful. Let's give it a swatch. Oh, that just swatched like a dream. That is such a pretty shade. Wow. Next, I've got the shade Eggplant. That's a hot pink kind of colour. It was quite crumbly in the pan, though. Then we've got Cups and Ice. And we've got Birthday Flan. That one felt so nice in the pan as well. Such a pretty shimmer. And we've got the shade Dr. Drake Ramore, and that's the very middle row. Then we've got Frank Junior Junior. We've got the shade Mac and Cheese, shade Fancy Guest. We've got the shade I'm Fine, shade Manana. Then we've got the shade The List. We've got the shade Prom Video. And the final shade, I don't really know how to pronounce, but I think it's apothecary table these are the final two rows all swatched really pretty purple corals neutrals and shimmers yeah i'm so happy with the color story i think you can do so much with it some neutral some pinky looks some kilton looks pop of purple i'm really impressed with it so i'm gonna start off with the shade the one wear and i'm gonna put that in my crease just to kind of map out my crease area and I'm going to use a Morphe 321 brush it's probably going to look a little bit of a mess to start off with but then hopefully it comes together so I'm going to take the shade the list and I'm going to use that to blend out that shade the one there the one were and I'm going to use a M222 brush I'm going to use the M506 instead. So I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Cups and Ice and I'm just going to use that to just blend it out a little bit further using the exact same brush, the Morphe 506 brush. So now I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to really build up and intensify the shadows obviously do this eye as well and I'll be right back. So I'm back, I've built up the colours to how I wanted them and then I just put a little bit of a tacky base in the middle because I'm going to do a little bit of a halo eye because I don't do that that much on my channel so or just in general anyway I normally do a just a full on cut crease but Today I thought I'd go for something a little bit different. I think I'm going to try the shade Orthodontist and I'm going to put that in the middle and then I might be able to blend it out with one of these P. 
pinky shimmer shades if we need to. I do want to take this on a smaller brush, so I'm taking the 237 Detail Shader Brush. This is by Jessop, and I'm going to spray that as well. So I'm going to take the shade Manhattan just to blend these shades together. I think it just needs that. So I'm just going to do the exact same to the other eye and then I'll be right back. So this is what we're looking like so far. Those shimmers are so pretty. I love this palette so much. It's come out so much better than I thought it would. But I just love it. They're a little bit odd. But I never get them even anyway. It is what it is. So my little lash line, I'm going to take the one there. The same shade that I put in my crease and I'm going to put that underneath. And I'm going to use the Real Technique shading brush to do that. I'm going to take a little bit of that Orthodontics shade and I'm going to put that on my little lash line as well. Just like I have done on my lid. Just think it will tie things in a little bit more. So now I'm just going to hop off camera. I'm going to put some eyeliner on, some eyelashes, lipstick. Oh, and blusher because I haven't put any blusher on yet. So we'll put some blusher on. And then I'll be right back to round up my final thoughts. So I'm back and this is the finished result. I really like it again. Really like to play with the lobster palette, and I really like playing with this palette. And I'm definitely going to be playing with them both a lot more in the future. I'm really, really happy with the finished look. So my lip combo today is the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Brink, and then I've paired that with the I Heart Revolution Cookie Dough Chocolate Lipstick. And over the top of that, I've got a gloss on, which is the Dewy gloss from the first series of the Friends collection. And I finished off my eyes by lining my waterline with the Barry M High Vis Eyeliner in the shade Riot. These eyeliners are so creamy and such a nice formula. I highly, highly recommend these eyeliners. And you can sharpen them, they're not just that's it, you can actually sharpen them, they're so nice. And my mascara... <laughs> and the mascara that I've got on today is the Mascara Revolution. I love this mascara, it's such a good affordable mascara and it does make your lashes really, really clumpy so if you don't like a clumpy lash then you probably won't like this but I really, really like this mascara. And then my really, really dramatic eyelashes are from a small Instagram brand called Lit Lash. And this is what the packaging looks like. And I have these in the shade High Maintenance. I will leave all their details for their Instagram shop down below so that you can check them out. Because they do some really, really nice affordable lashes. And I'll also leave a little discount code down below as well. So yeah, let's just move on to a couple of final thoughts about the palette. So the Friends Face Palette. This is the light to medium one. And overall, I think it's such a nice palette. It's really, really nice. I love these three shades in the middle. I can use all of those. I can use this one. Um, it's not as in your face as it looks on my kind of skin tone and then at some point I'll probably give these two a go as well to see if they work as well but I think they're just going to be a little bit too deep for me. My only downfall is the palette, the size of the palette, the actual packaging. Um, so it has this like foam bit, it's going to look really cute stood up but it is really really bulky and it's going to be difficult to store this if you don't have space to stand it up 
So just make sure you bear that in mind before you think about purchasing this palette. It does however have a mirror up at the top here. It's quite a nice size mirror and they have big pans but like I said in my previous video, can we not have had some little blushes at the side or something? Just fill up a little bit more of the space and I could maybe forgive the packaging but I can kind of forgive the size of the packaging because it's friends and that's what I'm like. Now moving on to this palette which is the Revolution and Friends obviously. <laughs> Open the door palette. 21 shades you do get quite a few mattes and shimmers and some beautiful shimmers i think it would have been nice to kind of mix up the shimmers like we have this one beautiful silver shade over here but it would have been nice to have a few more other shades other than just silver and gold and pink so like maybe take out maybe one of these shades and make a different shimmer shade but that would be my only little critique and you do get a very big mirror on this side as well the palette the palette hinges it folds over not very smooth i must admit i don't know if that's just my palette but it's not very smooth and it folds over so you can kind of do that flip over and I do like that concept and it's gonna look really really cute displayed along with the coffee cup and my other lobster palette this one isn't as hard to store if you do want to store it it's just kind of like storing a palette but I think they've done really really good and I do believe these are on three for two at the minute on Superdrug so I'll leave that link down below so you can check it out on Revolution or Superdrug. So thank you so much for watching my video today and make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy my video and let me know down below what you thought of my look and I'd really really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!